So I'm a family man. I have two girls, seven and four, and I have an amazing wife who's very understanding <laughs> because she knows I, my second passion is, is photography. So I've been a photographer for like 20, 24, 25 years. Uh, I'm originally from England. Um, I've been here in the States for about eight years. Daddy, this is Emma. Daddy, I want Hi, Emma. to go to England again. You want to go to England again? What is it about England that you like so much? I like uh, uh, I forgot what it is. <laughs> when I'm not shooting weddings, I'm photographing my children. <laughs> no. uh, and it keeps me on my toes because you know, it, it's, I'm trying to capture the same way I shoot weddings because I, I don't want them to pose for the camera. I just want to capture their lives because they're growing so fast. And I often tell my wife, I wish I could just press the pause button and, and just freeze time. So I got my start on a local newspaper when I was just a kid. I was like 18 years old. Um, but I knew that that was something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life, professionally speaking, something which related to storytelling. Um, so I, I worked on a, uh, actually worked on a local newspaper for a couple of years. I was in the dark room developing film before digital, um, and I, I loved I loved that. I loved the process. Um, I loved loved the, the fact of getting out there and trying to tell the story. I loved the deadlines. So I did that for a couple of years, and then. Um, I thought, well, I want to travel. I'm a young guy. Let me go. Let me go travel the world. And uh, one way of doing that was by traveling the world on a on a, on a cruise ship. You know, I, I work with other photographers and as a team. After that stint, I uh, I met my wife um, on a cruise ship. I arrived in the States. I wasn't too sure what I was going to do, um, but I knew I loved photography, and I started. Um, Looking at again, looking at photojournalism and, and figuring out where I wanted to lead my career here in the States, and um, I started shooting weddings, and I really loved it. Um, and to this day, I still I, I really enjoy shooting the life of a wedding, and that's what really clients seem to gravitate towards me, which is unobtrusive storytelling, anticipating and reacting to moments. And I, I, I get a big kick out of it. Unique moments, or, or peak moments, that happen throughout the day. I'm gonna capture all the, the group shots and the decor and details, but what you're really hiring me for is to capture the moments, those, those emotional moments that happen throughout the day. So one of my favorite photographers is, is Henri Cartier-Bresson. He was a French photographer. Uh, and today is one of the most famous, iconic photographers of our time. Um, I draw pretty much 90% of my inspiration or my influence from his work. But I try to bring that into my heart and my mind using geometry, good composition, shadow, light, and peak moments, and then bringing it all together to try and capture it in one frame. That is the challenge for me as a photographer. That is what I'm trying to capture throughout the day. And if I can try and capture one frame, one picture, just one picture, in a wedding that encompasses all those elements that I just talked about, then I'm a very happy man. I'm not there to direct the couple, I just want the couple to go and have a great time, enjoy their day, without me saying, hey guys, look this way, cut the cake and smile. Clients don't book me for that. They book me to capture their day unobtrusively, less posing, capture the emotion of the day. The, the challenge for me is not to go into a wedding with 
preconceived ideas. I, I go into every wedding with an open mind. So with that perspective, I'm then trying to tell a story as, as uniquely as possible. This is the power of photography, right? You have a beautiful image here where the, bride, the bride's having her veil fixed by the mum and it's almost like a, a poetic moment where the mum's hands are at the side. I know, it just, it's like when all the elements come together in a frame, this is what, this is what does it for me. This is what I love about photography, you know.